So Dave went to the DMV to get his driver's license renewed. And the lady there said, would you like to register to be an organ donor? And Dave paused and said, you know, I've been thinking about it. And I really should, but I just don't have the guts. <laughs> when I was in high school, my, my grandfather had the possibility of going blind. And thankfully, because of an organ donor, he was able to get a cornea for his eye and save his sight. When talking to my grandfather about that experience, he told me that whoever it was that donated the cornea to him was his hero. He didn't even know who it was. And everybody wishes that they could be a hero in the world. But when thinking of heroes, you think of firefighters, policemen, doctors, maybe somebody saving a cat out of a tree or an old lady out of a burning house. But when actuality is, you can be a hero by registering to be an organ donor, because you can save so many lives. By the end of this speech, I hope to have answered some lingering questions you guys might have about what is entailed in being an organ donor, as well as motivate you guys to actually register to be one. I'm gonna show you how crucial it is that there are more organ donors in the world today. I'm gonna to disprove the myths you might have heard that have steered you away from wanting to register. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to actually go ahead and register to be an organ donor. People tend to take organ donation very lightly, or they might even just blow it off completely. However, the need for more organ donors is overwhelming. According to DonateLife.org, about 6,500 people per year die because an organ is not able to get to them. To put it in other words, that's 18 people a day, just about the amount of people in this classroom. And the shocking thing is, this number is only increasing. According to DonateLife.org, in 1990, 10 people a day were dying because there wasn't any organ donors. And I'll, as you can see, the number has increased by eight. So there's a steady rise in this, in this number. And the thing is, it's not hard to actually save this problem because one donor can save up to eight lives. So you think about it, by just registering, you can save eight lives and contribute to the problem. Now, some of you like Dave might not think you have the guts to be an organ donor. <laughs> Maybe you guys have heard some myths that kind of scare you away. You heard stories, your parents kind of raised you under their impressions. You may have heard that doctors won't work as hard to save your life because they're just gonna make it easier to save someone else's life. Well, the fact of the matter is that according to Discovery Health, saving your life is gonna be the number one priority. And the medical staff that is saving your life is not gonna, is not gonna be the same medical staff that is doing the transplant. And only after all medical efforts to exhaust your, your problem or to, to exhaust your life and you're actually declared dead, will the donation take place? Or maybe one of the myths you heard is that the rich and famous people in the US are the ones that get priority on the list. You know, maybe Brad Pitt, if he, if he needs a heart, maybe, maybe he'll get his first before a random person in the country. Well, this is not true at all. There's a, actually, there's a computerized matching system that bases its efforts on tissue type, medical urgency, and organ size. These are all things needed for the procedure to go as planned. So in other words, you can't take my heart and Brad Pitt's heart if our tissue type doesn't match. So clearly he wouldn't be prioritized first. Maybe the idea of buying and selling organs and selling them for profit towards the medical community kind of makes you not wanna, not wanna register. Sure, this may be true in other countries, but at least for the, for the US, I can assure you that it's against federal law. And there's actually prison sentences and major fines that can occur if you do buy and sell organs for your own benefit. So, now that I laid the facts out to you guys, I wanna tell you guys how easy it is to actually register to be an organ donor. It might be, it's probably easier than you think. There's two options you have. 
The first one is to go online to www.organdonor.gov. It takes about 10 minutes, and it's about the same as if you were to buy something online. You go online, click a couple buttons, and there it is. I know everybody has computers these days, and even smartphones even. So internet access is not the problem. The second option is to register when you're signing up for your driver's license or, or renewing your driver's license, just like Dave. It's pretty easy. Um, when you go in, um, the employee at the DMV is just gonna ask you, and you have the option. Clearly you're gonna need to sign up some things like your, your blood type, your tissue type, and things like that, but the process isn't that hard. I feel like many people might feel that they, have, they don't know how to do it, or they might have not really thought about it when they were 15 years old when they got their driver's license. Maybe they weren't mature enough. Well, going online to organdonor.gov gives you the opportunity to go back and fix the mistakes that you've made. So as I have you guys right now jumping out of your seats to go sign up for the organ donors, I want you guys to remember how significant it is that there are more organ donors in the country. At the very least, I hope you guys go back to your dorm rooms or your houses and go online and do some of your own research. You know, find the facts out by yourself. You know, go out, go out of your way, just Google it. It's not that hard. The facts are there, it's the truth. The number of people that need organ, do uh, organ donors and organs far, by far surpasses the number of people that are actually willing to register to be organ donors. And the process is so easy, as I explained. So don't be like Dave, who didn't think he had the guts. I know all you guys do. <laughs> <laughs>